Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D object in Blender and then import it directly into Facebook as a 3D object. So if I open up my web browser, I'm on my Facebook page right now. And here is a post example where I've created this 3D dragon directly in Blender. And then I've imported the object directly into Facebook. And then people can interact with this object. It could be your company name, could be your brand, could be any type of 3D object, right? And you can import it directly into Facebook like this. Normally simple to style objects work better because they're going to render out a lot quicker. But they work fine on mobile phones, on desktop computers. So it's quite um, an interesting way of creating a post on Facebook. So a friend of mine has recently launched a YouTube channel called Jadagoon TV. And I'm going to put a link to his channel in the YouTube description. So go and check out his channel. And today we're going to use the text of his channel name and we're going to create a 3d object out of that and we're going to post it onto facebook so he's got a facebook page as well so i'll put a link to this facebook page in the uh, youtube description as well so you can go and check out his facebook page and please check out his youtube channel and if you like what he does on youtube please subscribe let's get his subscriber count up so let's minimize this and open up blender if you're not installed Blender before and you're not sure about this software, I'll put some links to some beginner tutorials as well. But I'll also put a link to um, how to install Blender in general. So I'll put all of those links in the YouTube description for this tutorial. And then you can follow um, those tutorials to get the software installed and get up to speed on how to use Blender. But we'll do a real basic tutorial today so you should be able to follow it. Let's click on general here and we'll middle mouse click to pan around and we'll click on this object, this square or cube and delete it. We'll go to file, save as and on my desktop I've already got a, um, got a folder set up already, just a blank folder and I'm going to call this Jadagoon TV 3D-01 and let's click save. So we want to add a text object so let's press number 7 so we're going to top view. Let's press Shift A and insert a text object and then we'll zoom in and press Tab and we're going to delete this text. I'm going to press Control V to paste his YouTube channel name in. But you can type anything you like. You can type your name, your company name, whatever you like. But as default, Blender's font is a bit rubbish. So let's go ahead and open up our web browser and I'm going to download this font. I've already found a font I like, so we we'll download this font. I'll put a link to this particular font in the YouTube description as well. But you can search on his website and search for other fonts and experiment, or you can use the same font as this one. So we want to download this font, so we'll click download. And we will open up this folder and drag and drop this font into here. And then we'll just right click and we'll extract the font here. Let's go ahead and delete this zip file and we'll rename this folder to font and let's open up that folder we can see all these different font styles there's bold extra bold light medium all that good stuff so we'll worry about that in a minute let's just open up blender and we'll click on this text object that we just created and click on the object data here and inside the object data we're going to go to fonts and inside font on the under the regular we're going to click the open folder Go to the fonts and we're going to just select the bold version, bold here. You can cho choose uh, other ones as well. You can download other fonts, do whatever you like. I'm just going to select the bold version here and click OK. Now you can see what the text looks like. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we want to, um, let's see, let's set the geometry to the center. So let's go to object, set origin, geometry to origin here. That will center, put the center point into the center of this object or the mass of this object. Let's middle mouse click and rotate around and zoom in a little bit. We want to give this object some geometry. Uh, in the extrusion, we'll set it to, let's see, uh, probably, let's go for, I reckon, 0 0.1. That sort of thickness should be good. We want to add some bevel to this. Bevels always make things look better. So we put the bevel at 0 0.2 and we leave the resolution at 4. So now we've got the basic text object in here right so what we want to do now is really rotate this object so let's click on it let's press R to rotate isolate it on the X axis so press X on the keyboard and type in 1990 so we can just rotate this object around you can also rotate the object by clicking on it going to the object data here and just type in 90 here 1990 that'll do the same thing now 
let's go into our render view so we can see it in the render view and the first thing we want to do is sort out the lighting so let's press number seven let's zoom out and click on this light source click on the move tool and then we just drag that light source to the front of this object so it's in front of it not behind we want it in front and then we'll press number in fact we'll just middle mouse click and rotate down or zoom out should i say click on the blue arrow here and drag it down can you see how that's illuminating the text more so let's bring it down so it's closer to the text something like this now the text is nice and illuminated but the color isn't right so let's click on it let's just check his youtube channel again uh, let's see it's got a lot of red in there right so let's use red so let's go to let's click on this text go to the uh, materials here let's click on new material let's click on the base color and select some sort of nice red color let's uh, let's get a nice nice red shade there then we'll set the metallic all the way up and the roughness will bring that down to something like around 0.175 and let's bring let's bring this light source down a little bit more. Let's get this uh, let's get the light source around here somewhere, right? Something like this. And let's go to the light source. Um, let's see. And let's increase its power. Let's set it to around 100, so we get some better lighting on this text here, right? Something like this. Let's click on the the text object and let's go to file save and we need to convert it into a mesh so we go to object convert to a mesh object now it's a mesh object you can't really edit the text anymore it is what it is so when you do that step you need to make sure the text is spelled out correctly and everything is good to go and now we've got this as a mesh object and let's go to file save and then we need to go to object uh, sorry we need to go to edit preferences and inside preferences click on add on and in this drop down menu we'll go to import export and then just make sure import export gltf.20 format is enabled so just tick that off if it isn't already enabled and then click save preferences here let's close this let's go to file save file export and then we we'll select this option here this gltf file format let's click that and then we will save it this file into the same folder and we'll export it let's minimize blender and let's go to um, let's go to my uh, Facebook page and I'm going to post this onto my Facebook page and then I'll share it with my friend a little later so let's click on his channel first copy this and I'm going to say here something like on my Facebook page uh, why not check out my friends new YouTube channel and I'll paste the link and then oh, as default when you paste the link um, Facebook is going to go and check that that link and pull down the thumbnail we don't want that so we're going to delete this thumbnail and uh, let's put his actual the name of the channel let's put that why not check out my friend's new YouTube channel, JD Green TV, and we'll put a link there, right? So let's close this YouTube thing here, and we'll open up this folder, and inside this folder, we've got the 3D.01.l.glb file. So let's drag and drop that into this post, and then Blender's gonna make a 3D object out of it. It takes a little bit of time, so be patient. And now you can see that in here. Let's just zoom down a little bit. So as I move the mask, the object will move slightly. But if I use my mass, uh, left mass button, I can move it around. You can look from top and above. And it's, it's a pretty cool way of creating some interaction in your Facebook post, right? Something a bit different. You don't really see this this much on Facebook, which I'm quite surprised. But you can create quite complex objects and import them as well. This was just a basic example, so this tutorial wasn't too long. Down here, you can slide across and I can click the black background. I want it to be on a black background because I think it would look better. And then the lighting actually affects this object, right? You can see um, where we placed our light source will actually affect the object. I believe that is true. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't experimented with this too much. I don't even know if you need a light source. I'm sh I assume you do, but I'm not sure if um, 
Facebook has its, has its default lighting that it will place on the object and the light source that you have in Blender it kind of ignores that I'm not quite sure so we need to experiment maybe I'm going to do a few more tutorials like this and maybe make something a bit more complex something a bit more interactive as well maybe we can animate these objects while they're uh, while we can rotate them and do stuff like this but let's do something quite basic and simple for today so that's all done all we need to do is click the post button now it says uploading and it's created the post so here you can see it job done so that's how we go about creating a 3d object in blender in this case we created some text then we converted that text into a mesh object we applied the material to it as well we gave it some bevel we changed the font style and then we export it into the right fo file format and then we simply imported that into blend into a facebook should i say um, to create this 3d interactive text but it doesn't have to be text, it could be your logo, it could be any sort of 3D object that you create in Blender. I would say you want to stick with um, quite simple objects, nothing too complicated, nothing with too much complex geometry, simple shapes and stuff should work out pretty well um, in Facebook. And this will work seamlessly on desktop, mobile phones, uh, tablets, it shouldn't really matter, it should work perfectly fine. So... That is the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Go and experiment with that. I'd like to see what you guys have done. So if you make anything interesting, feel free to share that on my Facebook page or send me a link to it via YouTube um, description and I'll take a look. And if I like it, I'll repost it onto my Facebook page as well. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.